Hey, what's up? Pizza Loving Nerd here, back with a stereotypical YouTuber intro. Linux is a great way to revive a computer, so today I decided to revive a computer from the 90s. My grandpa's old computer is some Dell system that I had that I don't know the name of, well, that he had, whatever. It has around 700 megabytes of RAM, a Pentium 4, and a NVIDIA GeForce FX 520. I could not find out what model it was or the year it was bought, but I know it's from the 90s, so yeah. It was running Windows XP, and it is as slow as a week in prison. So, I decided to install Lubuntu 17.10, um, but I installed the alternative bit, or the alternative 32-bit ISO. Unfortunately, I was unable to get footage of the installation or Windows before the installation, so you'll have to just take my word about some of the stu stuff I'll be saying. The installation took about three months. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I meant about three hours. <laughs> I was able to, or I'm sorry, I was unable to boot off a USB, and I didn't have any DVDs laying around. But I was able to use the Plop Linux Boot Manager for Windows in order to boot off a USB drive. After installing, I booted up into the distro for the first time, and I was very disappointed in the boot time. Starting from the BIOS, Windows XP took about 10 seconds to boot, but Lubuntu took about a minute. This didn't surprise me because I am running a modern operating system from 2017 on a computer more than 25 years old. After I booted into the system, however, Lubuntu was very fast. Microsoft Word would take about 2 minutes to start on Windows XP. However, Abby Word took about only 10 seconds. After Word did boot, it crashed a lot. However, I had no issues with Abby Word whatsoever. Photoshop, on the other hand, took even longer than Microsoft Word, and GIMP only took like 20 seconds. Um, I was able to do everything on GIMP with lag free. Um, however, there is one application that I noticed a lot of issues on. You cannot browse the internet on a computer from 96 or ni whatever it was, whenever it was released, using a modern Linux distro. <laughs> um, Firefox um, took about a minute to launch, and then each web page took at least a minute. Google took a minute. Loading YouTube took three minutes, and loading a YouTube video took three minutes to load the basic page, and then the video loaded, and it buffered a lot, and it suffered from like five frames per second. Having an app store to install software was something my grandpa was excited about because he isn't very good with computers. However, because of the low system requirements, after waiting 10 minutes of the GNOME Software Center, which is the default software center in Lubuntu to load, we we just gave up. Um, so he doesn't get to use the app store because of this, and he now has to use the terminal, which I like the terminal, but it took me like 30 tries to get him to understand that the terminal was like a DOS window in Windows 95 and Windows 98. Um, so, yeah. Thank you all for watching this video, and I am out.